This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Williams versus Keaton. You all have been in a relationship for six years. You have two kids together. And Mr. Keaton, you're sleeping in the kid's room because Ms. Williams, you think he's sleeping with a co-worker. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you dead. opened this case today. Tell us what's going on. Your Honor, I brought my husband to court today because I want to find out if he's cheating with a co-worker. I need to know if you're going to work to make the money for the family or are you going to work to find you a side chick? Oh. There's been too many red flags. And I'm not gonna tolerate it no more with 2 a.m. phone calls, whispering on the phone. I need to find out today, is he cheating or what are you doing? You need to be making money for the family, period. And if you find out today... <laughs> if I find if out you find out today he's cheating, then if what? If I find out today that he's cheating, it's a wrap. I can't be in a house. We're supposed to be a family. You're supposed to be focused on work so you can bring home money to take care of our family. You ain't supposed to go to work to play. No. All right. All right, Mr. Keaton, she didn't put it out there. What you got to say? You said she put it out there? Yes, sir. She's outlandish and she's out there. Oh. Wow. What? Wrong, wrong, wrong. How many times did I say wrong? Two times? Let me say it again. Wrong again. I go to work to work and make the money. I'm supposed to be friendly with my coworkers. Ma'am, don't you have coworkers, right? I have Mr. a lovely Cook? coworker. I have a coworker <laughs> who is beautiful, she's smart, she is funny, she's got charisma. I've got a coworker that, that's got it all. And but... he can play with this coworker. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So exactly. I'm in a unique position. Exactly. He's got but no you, you know, Miss Williams is saying that you are going to work to play with your coworkers in a way that's not appropriate. And you're saying she's wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm gonna put an extra wrong in there. Wrong, and she's out there. Right. That's what you're telling us today. Right. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I'm telling you. I'm not a cheater. I'm not a liar. And I am a provider. I didn't try to make that rhyme. It just did. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just on the cuff. Just mm -hmm. making it happen. That's what I do. For the record, so we're all on the same page here. What is your definition of cheating? Uh, my definition of cheating is when you, you know, go all the way with someone, like, you... Sex. Sexual. Penetration. Sexual oh. penetration. Okay. Wow. So even if you don't do that, but you do everything but, that's not cheating? I'm just saying, <laughs> ain't cheating. <laughs> look, look, look. But, oh, 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 Excuse me. Can I say you something? You see what I got to deal with? Can, I say, can I say something? You see. Yeah, you see okay. this right. The reason I said that, because it's not. It's not sexual penetration. I'm not saying that I do that. Just presume that that's not your definition. Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> All right. No, ma'am. So you, because you like now, I'm like, is he snacking on the job? I mean, what's going on up in here? I, I know I should have said that. On the I job. said that, Mr. Cole. I said that out loud. It came right out. It just <laughs> right came out. right out. I just want to know. Do you... What's your definition so we all clear? That's disrespectful. Yeah. Like, if you had any type of self-worth about yourself, that's totally disrespectful. I don't care if there's penetration or not penetration. That's disrespectful. There if it you is. had any type of self-worth about yourself, you would know better as a husband. So okay. you're saying if you're way over here just thinking about it, that's too much. You starting it off. Okay, so... All right, so... Can I interject? And you say the warning signs are everywhere, Ms. Williams. Tell me about those warning signs. Why do you specifically believe it's a co-worker? With a co-worker... Okay, so they work together at least twice a week. She's been nice enough to pick him up from work and bring him home, which I appreciate that, okay. you know? But then it gets to the point of y'all sitting in the car too long, 30 minutes pass, an hour pass, now it's going on two hours. So when it's it hits three, three hours, two hours, oh, oh, when no, no, it hits nah, three nah. hours, I'm I'm going I'm coming outside now. I need to make my, myself known. I need to be present. You were just sitting in this car with this woman for almost three hours. What's going on? What, what are y'all talking about? Then he's, oh, it's nothing. You know, she having relationship problems, so I was just talking to her. Excuse me, Eric, Mr. Keaton. Um, we're having relationship problems. So you can tell. <laughs> with a co-worker about what's going on in her life, but you can't sit down with your own wife and have a discussion. 
Have a conversation. Okay, so you helping her with her relationship and your wife is saying to you, we got a problem. We, have pro we having problems because she's accusing me of cheating. If you accuse somebody of cheating for so long, guess what they gonna do? I'm not saying I will, but if you accuse someone of doing something, over and over and Your over. Actions. You're put, you're putting it in my head too cheap. No. I, di I didn't have that in my mind too cheap, but you're no. putting it in my mind. No. You know, if Mr. Keaton really wanted to have something with this coworker, he wouldn't do it in front of his house. You know what, Mr. Cutler? My woman's intuition says it's something else besides just being friendly. And I th uh, and am I right? Yes, Ms. Williams. Your Honor, they've been at work all day long. It takes them at least thirty minutes to get to the so house. So they could have wrapped what that else up. Do you have to talk you about. You could have wrapped that up. Yeah, no, Ms. no, Cutler, there's got to be more. I gotta hit the gavel on you on that one. That was not working for me. Big time. There is. There... All right, okay. To prove my point, what else is there? With this coworker, same coworker once again. I get home, Carson out front. I'm like, okay, she's dropping him off. I walk past the car. There's nobody in the car. Oh! oh! There it is. Whoop, whoop. There's no one inside the car. I'm looking in the front of my house. There's nobody outside the front of my house. So I proceed to go in. Now, in our living room, we have two big couches, long couches, and a little love seat. As I walk in, why are y'all sitting on the love seat? And there's not a lot of space on the love seat. So as oh, I... Hold up just a second. I'm gonna hit the gab on you. takes off and go runs into the kitchen. Once again, it's, it's not a conversation. It's just, it's just okay, whatever, you tripping. So, so maybe he went to the kitchen because he was hungry. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, Cutler, no. Cutler, that's the problem. Now is he hungry? I think she thinks she's thirsty. Come on. Hmm. I Extremely think that's what's going on up in here. <laughs> All right, Mr. Keaton, yes, sir. you got me out there. You had me out there on that limb. I'm no, trying to help you. No, you put yourself out there. No, no you had me out there. I'm trying Your to give Honor. a reasonable explanation. He's talking. I had a reasonable oh. explanation for why you would be talking with a coworker outside your house. Now you done brought her inside the house. I don't have anything for you, so you tell me why your coworker was inside your house at a time when your wife wasn't there. On the love seat. Don't leave On that the out. the love seat. See, see, look, here's the thing. That person had to use the restroom. Oh. So, I mean, like, nothing happened, though. So, did I, you further happened. investigate this? Because I know I'd been like, oh, what yes, else happened up in here? There's more. Okay, go There's on. more. So, after I left the kitchen, because I'm not getting any answers out of him. Right. I go talk to the woman. I'm going to see if I can get any answers out of her. I go back in the living room. She gone. She has, she has gotten out of there. Like, I ain't even see when she left. I go to my bathroom, in my room. So this is like your ensuite in your master room? Yes, ma'am. All right. And I find a condom and some Ooh. tissue. Oh what? A, a used? A used condom? Oh, yeah, it was used. Open and used. And I have evidence. Oh. Don't tell me you brought in. Yeah, no, yeah. not the condom. Oh, I, took oh, a right. <laughs> I took a picture of the condom. Okay, you got that? Yes, ma'am. Rob, would you please get that evidence, yes, please? I was about to say, okay, you're gonna have to keep no, that. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't touching that. Where did you find it? It was just sitting on the counter. It wasn't Ew. even like... On the counter? Balled up. Yes! Ah! It wasn't even balled up. It's like you didn't even try to hide it. Oh! Man. All right, Mr. Keaton, let me guess. You got a reasonable explanation for this. Right. We actually had just used that condom the night before. Your Honor, like no, she we said, didn't. Like she no, said, it was out in the open. Mm -hmm. She found the condom when, when my coworker wasn't even there. And it's your testimony you're not cheating with this coworker. Correct. All right. Well, there's her side, there's your side, and there's a coworker's side, and she's here. <laughs> Good day, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. Would you state your full name, please, for the record? Yeah, Bree Ellis. Okay, Miss Ellis, you are a co-worker of Mr. Keaton's? Yeah, I give him rides to and from work. And by the way, you owe me some gas money since you don't Oh, no, I don't owe you nothing. Oh, I don't hold work on, with hold you. On, hold on, I don't work so, yeah, with Ms. you. Ms. Williams, he works with you. I mean, I drive 45 minutes out my way to pick him up and to take him to work. Do you go in his house every day and use the bathroom? I don't go in there every day, but it's not the first time I've used the bathroom. 
And it's not the first time you've been on that love seat sitting and talking with him, is it? No, if it's... Yeah, no, it's not. All right. Have you ever had sex with a defendant? I have not. I mean, if anything, probably should be worried about our other coworker. I'm just saying. There's another coworker we should be worried about? Oh, yeah. When people asking me to cover for them at work... Sorry. When people are asking me to cover for them at work and hit me with... Oh, that means it's a little more than, um, you know... You couldn't tell and, me this when I called you? Girl, first of all, what you're not gonna do is call me with disrespect. My mom does not call me you and disrespect me. You walked in my house and disrespected me. You sir. wasn't there. And I'm guess what? Wife. You should probably... It doesn't matter. Uh, you don't you want want to your husband, husband not me. Your husband. Ladies, I want to get to this issue because you talking about it ain't you. And it's I'm not like, me. Okay. It's another coworker. Mm -hmm. You s I thought I heard you say he asked you to cover for him. Oh, yeah, they both. You know, will you cover for me if my wife calls? Um, you know, just tell her that we're working late. What's this other co-worker's name? Her name is Star. Ooh. Star. Mm -hmm. Mr. Keaton, who's the star of your life, apparently? Because it's not Ms. Williams. Who's this star of your life? It is Ms. Williams. No, it's Star. Well, who's this co-worker? Star. A yes, co-worker? Yes, who is Star. Miss Williams, were you aware of this other coworker? I wasn't aware of this. What would you want to ask this woman named Star? Do you know that he's married? Like, do you have your own self-respect or self-esteem? You have a self-esteem issue or something? So you got a whole lot of questions. I you got a lot ask to me. ask, Miss Star. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got questions. I got questions. She apparently has a few questions. Let's ask her. She's here. <laughs> How are you? Doing well, how are you guys? I'm good. Would you please state your full name for the record? Star Waits. What is your relationship with the defendant? Uh, we're just co-workers. Uh... Have you had any outside meetings outside of work with Mr. Keaton? Uh, we were talking one day about going to the shooting range. He invited me. We went there. That's absolutely it. There's nothing else out outside of work. All right. Did you know that uh, Mr. Keaton was married? No, I did not. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no. At we, first, I mean... So you all spent time together, never mentioned his, his wife? We work in a call center. We're usually on the phones. We don't get a whole lot of time to talk to each other. We go out and talk on smoke breaks, but we don't get that deep into each other's business like that. So no, you're just, just a friendly person? Yes, I'm a friendly person. And he's just I'm, a friendly everybody person? Everybody's friendly. He's just a friendly place to work. Ooh, everybody, yeah. I need to know... I everybody's need to friendly, job where everybody's but her. friendly. You believe your husband's cheating. Is that right, Ms. Yes, Williams? Yes, ma'am. And if you find out he's cheating, you're done. Yes, ma'am. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. No. All right. Well, That's what... We got everything at stake here. Well, it sounds like Ms. Williams has one foot already out the door. She's just waiting to find out what happens here. That's right. And to help her find that out, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Schull, to determine, is he cheating? Good day, Mr. Shell. How are you? Good day, Your Honor. I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Good to see you. Good to see you. You conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Keaton in this case, correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Keaton, during your relationship with Ms. Williams, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Ms. Ellis? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Mm. Good job, my man. Ms. Williams, you have not broken that look. Not a, a smile, a not a nothing. Her foot in her mouth. Now, Let me take your shoe I off. I am woman enough to apologize to you, Bree. I do appreciate you picking up my husband and dropping him off, but there's, sometimes there's lines that you shouldn't cross, and all I'm asking is that you respect me as his wife. That's it. Mm. But I do appreciate what you do, and I do apologize. Thank you. I accept your apology. All right. You also asked Mr. Keaton... During your relationship with Ms. Williams, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Miss Waits? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Oh. 
All right? Clear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you asked Mr. Keaton, since exchanging vows with Ms. Williams, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Ms. Williams? What was his response? He responded, no, Your Honor. What did the polygraph determine? On this question, Your Honor, he was determined to be truthful. <laughs> Duh. You all are married. You've been married uh, two and a half years. Yes, yeah. ma'am. And you all met in high school and reconnected. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Your Honor. Miss White, can you tell me why you brought your husband here today? Because I want to know if my husband cheated on me after I had I my baby last year. So why do you think your husband cheated on you after you had a baby? His past behavior that he had. I, I was weak at that time. I, I was... I, 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 was, I was trying to fill a void. And that's the past. You got to let that go. You are got... you in love with her? Yes, I am. What are you here to prove today? Today that after May uh, of last year, I have been faithful to her. So the last time you cheated was a year ago? Yes, sir. All right. He's saying that. Have you believed him? No, ma'am. The actions that he showed me, it's like yes. he goes out with his friends, don't come home until 2 a.m. I mean, so I'll this marriage is on the rocks. Obviously. If it comes back today that, in fact, your husband has not cheated since he last told you that he did, are you going to be able to put the past behind you and move forward? I want to build trust with him, but he doesn't give me that assurance a, that I can past, trust him any, again. Uh, look, love, you don't throw a house up mm -mm. in one stone. Yeah. You take one stone at a time. Yeah. And if he's been in the game building stone after stone for the last year, then that foundation is slowly being laid. I'm not asking you to say, oh, I don't have... I'm, I'm going blind. I'm just saying you gotta give a brother a chance. Yeah, but it's just I'm hurt from everything he's done. That's right, Your Honor. That's right. So, Mr. Gunnels, yes, do you understand that your family, your home, is at risk today? Yes, Your Honor. I'm really here to clear the air and uh, assure her that I'm not doing those things. Ms. White, at, at one point, you loved him. Yes, I did, dearly. Okay, I reviewed your case file, mm -hmm. the things that you filed with this court, and I saw your wedding video, and you all were happy. Yes, you were very yes, happy. We were. <laughs> Tell me about the happy times. Um, the happy times I can recall, he'd give me flowers. I wasn't used to that. So, I have the petals I saved. It's very sweet. I have them here. Aww. And those are the petals that he gave you when? Three times, it was one just because. The other one was on Valentine's Day and the last one here, it was for my birthday. All right, I understand that. I have the flowers, <laughs> I have the uh, yellow roses that Mr. Cutler gave me, our first Valentine. Mm -hmm. And that would have been February 1983. Mm -hmm. I still have those. So I understand about that. So you loved him. Yes, ma'am. And it was a time he walked four miles in a snowstorm to me. All right. And That's what I'm yeah. talking about. <laughs> That's true, Your Honor. I was surprised because I wouldn't have did it for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's telling the truth. Can't yeah. condemn her. Can't right. condemn her. But, Miss White, okay, it. you're holding on to those rose petals. That means you're holding on to something. Yeah. Yeah. I think I deep down, you really do want this to work. You're afraid of being hurt. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. And that's understandable. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, that risk is always there. Mm -hmm. But if you've got somebody on the other side who's trying to take the steps to rebuild the trust, you got to meet them. You got to let them take those steps. Yeah. And you got to meet them halfway there. And that's what he's here trying to do today, to re help rebuild the trust. However, he's only entitled to that if he hasn't breached her trust in the last year. True. And so that's why we're here today. Mm -hmm. Tell us how the trust was first broken. Tell us about that. Um, I Go found ahead. out that he had sex with this young lady... Um, she had texted me. She told me that she needed to tell me something that was involving her and my husband. 
And so she was like, yeah, we had sex um, these past three Mondays. I was like, let me put my baby down because I had my daughter in my hand. And so she told me everything from the, you know, he got her a job at his job, which I had no knowledge of. And he walked right through the door, looked at her, shook his head, walked to the bedroom. I followed him and told him, what are you running for now? Your secret is here. So give me the truth. I wasn't running. I told him, hey, I don't want to be with you. You can leave with her. And that's the end of it. Later, she started playing on my phone, sending weird text messages. There was a and reason for that. She was, um, she was still in love with him, all this other stuff. They're going to, you know, potentially get together. And, that's, that's, you know, I have the text messages to prove that, that she was texting him. While, while she's giving you that, Your Honor, uh, I also want to tell my side of that story. Let's, let's look at the text messages, because I think this may help us. This is a message from the other woman. You told me I was special to you, and when we had sex, you felt so alive. And so, Mr. Gunners, you wrote, y'all playing, bro. Too grown for that. Sad. And the other woman replied, I don't want your wife to get my number, so I made this account. Oh. Mr. Gunners, did you have this text exchange with this coworker? Yes. Oh. All right. Okay. So you had sex with this other woman? Not during the year, that year, no. Okay, but you have had sex with this woman yes. while you were with Miss White. Yes, that, that okay. was the, the first occurrence. So, Mr. Gunners, you are here fighting for your relationship, right? Yes, Your Honor. How do you end up okay. sleeping with a coworker when you're a married man? At that time, the other woman would make me feel like a man. She would not emasculate me. Jalicia had a problem with letting a man be a man. He showed me a man I wouldn't have to do that. Okay. And I totally have well, this whole year. Okay, what was this other woman doing to make you feel like a man? When I would do something for her or, you know, just give her a compliment, she would validate that, you know, oh, well, I like the fact that you're doing this for me. Jalicia, on the other hand, she did not validate me at all for the things that I did. Working seven days a week, I, I mean, I laugh at 70 hours. This is all hours. for affirmation? I all laugh right, at so, 70 hours. So let me ask you this. How did you meet this coworker? You said you got her a job, so you didn't meet her at work. Mm -mm. Technically... No, uh, actually. <laughs> actually, me and the other woman were having conversations before I actually got serious with Jaleesia. I was just kind of scoping the scene, seeing which, which woman would be the right woman for me. So you saw that she was the better woman, point blank? At that time, yes. All right. But you couldn't let the other one go. I did, Your Honor. No, nah, did you didn't. For a certain amount of time. And no, no. There's a difference between I... letting go and, like, just kind of holding the rein loosely. Mm-hmm. So you didn't let go. You just kind of was like, I'm not gonna hold tight. Her name is still White. We got married by court and at the church. Why is your last name still white? Your last name is supposed to be Ganell's. Not exactly. There. I sat there oh. and told you that if you can stick two years being faithful to me, I would change my name. What did you do? Cheated. You cheated. That was before, Embarrassed me. That was before. Negative. We, we, had, we had already fixed that situation. Negative. Okay. We, Your Honor, we had already... So you telling me that from day one, when she decided not to take your name, that emasculated you. That started the you thing. down this track of feeling like she didn't see you as the man. That, that's, that's part of it. Um, I was using his phone, and a message came on his, on his phone, and it said, what's up? So I was like, who is this? I don't know this person. And so I text the person back. I was like, what? Like, who are you? And they was like, where he at? And I was like, what? What? And so I scrolled the page down and I saw a picture of her. She had on like a bra top and some shorts. Shorts, shorts. Okay, well, do you regret the affair or do you regret getting caught? I honestly regret the affair because I, I felt empty inside. Your Honor, man to man, hmm. when you work 
and come home, wake up in the morning, go to work, and do the same thing every single day for about two to three years, you tend to become desensitized. Okay, you talk to somebody who's been married for almost 30 years, who's worked in the same profession, the same job for the last 30 years with the same woman. I mean, so when you talk about, you know, being robotic, I mean, that's not an excuse. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anna. Okay, I mean, you said man to man, so I'm just talking to you man to man. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, man to man, that's what men do. And wait a minute, how many hours do you work a day, love? Many. You know, 12, 14, just depends on what's going on. For real? I mean, every day. I I understand. Saturdays, Sundays, you know, the work has to get done. So, uh, yeah, it is a grind. But But you knew that going in. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yes. Okay, so, I mean, man to man, you can't use that as an excuse. All right. I think we've heard enough testimony on this part. You have a lawsuit in this case as well, Ms. White. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell the court briefly about that? Yes, ma'am, I can. Um, The confrontation I had with the young lady at his job that was sending text messages to my phone, I was just so fed up with it. So I went up there to her and I said, hey, I'm tired of you sending text messages to my phone. And she was like, yeah, I plan on doing something else with him again. So I muffed her in the face. You and did what? I, you did what? I mushed her in the face. Okay. I you have, gave it a hand. I have the evidence from my window being broken um, weeks as later. As far as the retaliation weeks of you later, her in her face, right? I was taking my son I am to... Not hold on, hold on, Mr. Gunnels. I was taking my son to the zoo, however... On our way to the car, on the way to the car, I noticed that my window was shattered. How do you know she broke out this window? She later texted him and told him that, yeah, I broke your wife's window because she's not going to get away with hitting me in the face. And this is the woman he was cheating with? Yes. She did not. All right, did you replace the window? No, sir. Did you get an estimate to replace the window? Yes, sir, I did. And that's for the total of $700? That's what he was going to charge me. Okay, and you think he's responsible for that because of his infidelities? Yes, sir. As Ms. White has explained it, her window got broke Mm -hmm. because it was in retaliation for her mushing a woman in the face. And she mushed a woman in the face because it was a woman she confronted. And she confronted the woman because you were sleeping with this woman. Okay, you see how that chain goes? In the past. You see how that chain goes? It leads back to you. I mean, you follow the line, it ends at you. But what kills me is legally, we can't hold you responsible for it. Because it was done by another person. So we're going to have to dismiss your claim. But that still leaves us with the love suit. And what we need to establish is whether or not you have cheated in the last year. So we have ordered a polygraph test of you, Mr. Gunnels, and we have the results. At this time, the court would like to call a certified polygraph examiner, Michael Williams. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Williams into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams, how are you doing? Doing good. How are you this afternoon? Doing okay. Good to see you. So, in this case, a polygraph was given of Mr. Gunnels. Is that correct? That's correct. And he was asked... Other than the infidelity you admitted to your wife, are you currently having sexual relations with any of your co-workers? What was his response? His response was no. What did the polygraph exam show? What did the polygraph exam show? There was no significant physiological response, which is an indication of truthfulness. All right. That's all I was trying to say, Your Honor. Mr. Gunnels, you were asked, since May 2016 until the present time, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? What was his response? His response was no. What did the polygraph indicate? There was no significant response, which indicated he was telling the truth. All I'm saying, girl. So I'm going to say this to you, Ms. White. Forgiveness does not erase the past, but it does pave a way to your future. Yeah. Can you forgive your husband? Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. 
Mr. Donalds, you came to court today to prove that you've been faithful to your wife over the last year. Yes, Your Honor. And you've proven that. Yes. But it's not over. I don't care how emasculated you feel, how much of a grind it is, man up, because that's what life is. And Your Honor, that's exactly what I'm about to do as of right now. Me being a man and, and doing what I needed to do for a year, and you're constantly emasculated and look like the bad guy. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how to play the victim. I don't know. Jalicia, I love you. But I feel like I'm not ready to carry on this relationship. There might be a possibility for something in the future, but as of right now, no. All right, if you listen, a person will tell you exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. He just told you. Yeah. You deserve, as Aretha Franklin said it best, mm -hmm. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Mm -hmm. So, let him go. <laughs>